Hi everyone, it's Karen here and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a brand new tutorial where I created a mixed media canvas using old paint brushes. I upcycled and recycled lots of paint brushes to create this canvas and I wanted to create something very simple so anybody can recreate it at any time. All the products are listed below in the description area as well with links to where you can buy them. So you might be wondering what are all these brushes doing on a piece of canvas and I really wanted to clean up my room. My art room is a big mess and in an effort to do that I decided that I want to create some kind of canvas. I've been saving up old brushes. These are brushes that either I didn't take care of or I use some medium where you they can't be used anymore like glue and I didn't clean them properly I'm really really bad at taking care of my brushes this is why I try to buy like really inexpensive brushes if you see the ones over here they're pretty inexpensive there's some Finabare brushes here that I screwed up and didn't clean up properly some a little bit more expensive brushes but you know what it, it is what it is it will be a beautiful canvas God willing and I'm just going to glue these all. So I arrange them the way I want them. So this is as many as I've collected over the years. It's been a few years. I've never made a canvas like this. So I'm really excited to get started. I'm going to use heavy body gel to glue them all, but I'm not going to show you how I glue them. I mean, I can show you how to glue one of them, but I really don't think I need to show you how to glue things onto it. Just want to talk about the heavy gel. It's a really good gel medium that you can glue heavy stuff this is why i want to use it for these paint brushes so all you have to do is you can use a palette knife so for example just to be just to show you a little bit i could do this i can put it on the canvas or or i could put it on the brush itself doesn't really matter and just glue oops and just glue okay so i'm just going to basically glue all of these all along and then i will show you what the next step is okay so all i'm going to do now is just cover the canvas in black gesso and this is the prima Fenabare art basics heavy black gesso i want to use this one specifically because it gives a really good coverage and I don't have to put too many layers of it. So for gluing the actual paint brushes, all I did is I used my palette knife and just added some glue into the background and then glue them. So they might not be in the same order as the original order that I, you had seen it, but it doesn't really matter which order you put it. You just have to make sure that it's balanced. And maybe I should have waited until the glue was dry, but I didn't. So I'm just carefully adding the black everywhere. If you don't want to try to get in between all the um, paint brushes, you could definitely give the background a coat, the canvas a coat with black gesso first and then glue the paint brushes. That way you don't have to get into the areas where there's white and worry that you will not be able to cover everything, which is a really good tip because I just realized that it might be a little bit harder for me to get in those spaces. So I'm just going to basically cover the whole canvas. And this canvas is a 16 by 12 inch canvas, but any canvas would work with this. I think I had something else on this before and I'm just repurposing it, which is a great way to do, especially if you're adding things on top, then you won't see what was behind it. And it just adds some texture to the background. So I'm just going to paint everything now. And then I'll show you the next step. Okay, so I finished painting everything in black and I should have painted the canvas black beforehand because I did miss a few areas I can't go back on it but just as a tip to you if you're going to recreate this to make sure that you paint everything black first then glue the paint brushes and then paint on top now I have an idea in my head of what I want to do with this and what I'm going to be using is the impasto paints from Prima Finabare 
and I'm going to lay them out kind of how I wanted them to look this is the colors that I'm going to use which is almost all the colors that they have all the bright colors I wanted to make this really really bright and pretty and this is how it's going to look I just like excited to try this they don't, they don't all fit but they will fit once I paint them and so this is more or less the how I'm going to paint it but there's a specific way of how I want to paint it so I'm going to see if it works so it's all a trial and error and I'm going to try it now so I'm going to put these paints basically where they were I just wanted to show you how cool it looks and I'm going to get started on painting this I'm going to grab one by one and I'm going to paint panels of it more or less and I'm going to eyeball it so I'm really hoping that I have room to fit all of them here maybe I should mark more or less where things are I could divide this up that might make more sense that way I don't have to eyeball it so this is uh what I say was a 16 16 does not divide by 9 which is what I have but that's okay so let's see how much that comes out to in my calculator okay so it comes out to about 1.8 of an inch more or less it doesn't have to be exact as I said so kind of like one 1.8 that's like uh, gosh okay I'm gonna measure these off screen or whatever I'll cut the sum of this off okay perfect so now I have all nine panels more or less I have them here at the bottom and now I can start painting okay so I'm gonna grab the first color which is a green apple which is a kind of a lime green color and I'm going to just paint from the bottom up inside the panel that I had set and I'm going to paint the sides as well I only want to kind of paint the bottom I do not want to paint fully the top I just kind of want it to go down and it's oh this is really bad because you can't really see the color I'm going to try to take the brightness out hold on okay so what I had to do in order to show you what is going on here the actual color I needed to put a white here because what's happening is it's compensating for the black once I start adding the color it will work better but right now because there's not a lot of color and the black is kind of taking over it's kind of makes it look weird and you can't really see anything so okay that's as far as I want to go with the paintbrush I do want to go get the, get the edges here though so I'm painting the edges and I'm painting up to that line where my imaginary line here as much as I can and the edges and the sides as well okay so that's as far as I want to go for now I might add after but right now this is as far as I want to go now I'm going to start with the yellow and I wanted to kind of blend like the reason why I went with these colors and I added them in this order is because I want them to blend from one to the next and this is the best way to do that so as I'm going up I'm using very little paint to just do like a dry brush technique and that brings out all of that texture now the texture that you see on my paint brushes is actually texture that was built from the actual paint because these are old paint brushes they kind of um, had a lot of gunk on them and paint on them so that's what you see which is really cool I think that's a cool idea that you actually see that all the memories of everything that I've created is kind of like the soul of my art is basically on these paint brushes and that's basically what you kind of see over here now it's I want to just wipe this because I want to actually bend blend the two colors in and I'm blending that line in the middle so now you have the second color over here I'm gonna go with the third color which is the orange oh sorry the second color was called lemon peel this one is called pumpkin and now oh you see I can't remove that paper until I have all the colors done okay I'm gonna continue on with the orange now these impasto paints are acrylic paints but they're very very thick acrylic paints so they really look amazing when applied and they cover things so well 
so I love using them for this reason so that's the the orange one and I do want to blend it but I want to make sure that when I'm blending you want to make sure that your paintbrush is really dry so that way it does not it just looks more blended that way there we go I love how it's turning out so far I love it love it love it okay we're gonna go with the next color which is the red this mine okay so I don't use a lot of reds and oranges I tend to use more of like the blues and greens and purples so these two colors have not been used but here I am using them for the first time so I'm really excited okay red beautiful red wow this is called poppy red oops I went too far ahead that's not good I'm getting offline here this is half pink half red okay not that it really matters it doesn't have to be exact but I just really wanted to kind of even them out as much as I can they don't have to be exact exact let's see no I still can't remove it okay so okay these ones blended really nicely I don't even have to do anything so pretty I love it okay the next color I'm using is pink and this is called raspberry pink I'm sure I've used this one yes I have so it's open and this is kind of goes over from this side to this one two three four yeah I have four colors left oops I put too much here but that's okay I'll use some of it for this side so this is really fun I really encourage you to save your paintbrush it upcycle them recycle them oops I went too high up and that's okay I wasn't sure what I want to do at the top I'm debating whether to just have it the way it is or to do something else we'll find out soon enough okay I am not sure yet I want to kind of finish the bottom first and then we'll go from there from there I meant to say okay so that's really pretty with the pink now it's starting to kind of take shape I want to still put that there just because I can't get the you can't really see the colors on this side the next color is called Heather it's like a light purple it's a beautiful purple actually and it kind of matches the pink so what I'm doing is I'm trying to go from one color to the other and make sure that the one beside it blends beautifully with the one before it it almost looks like a rainbow I love rainbows and I love how the brushes are in like different sizes so it really made it really cool to look at it has a lot of interest this was a quick color let me add a little bit more on this side here and I just want to blend oops I need to dry this brush it's, there's too much purple on it I might to I might need to put some of the pink here hold on so you can go back definitely you can go back and making sure that that things stand out okay there we go I love it love it love it love it okay that's good so I have now a whole mess here of things okay let me just put this back let me clean this paintbrush because I want to finish up with the other ones okay so now I'm going to remove this I know it will bring more light but it's better now the next color I'm using is aubergine it's like an eggplant color it's another purple and I thought it would blend perfectly with the color before it and just add a little bit of 
another tone to it which it did I'm so happy how it looks so these colors blend beautifully together so I really like how they're turning out okay that was easy enough see these colors cover so well you really don't need to do much the next color I'm going to use is the cobalt blue and notice I'm using the same paintbrush for all of them I'm just wiping it a little bit and then continuing on so let's see painting over here So it's basically the same technique all along. And just blending the colors at the end. Okay, let me wipe this a bit and so I can blend the purple and the blue a little bit. I think I need a little bit more purple here. The blue is kind of taking over. There we go. Oops. Did not mean to add blue here. Okay. And the last color I'm going to use is the one is this one which is the jade color it's one of my favorite ones it's like a turquoise color really one of my favorite ones love this one so i've used this one a lot because i tend to mix it with the patina and you can see some of these videos with this one on my youtube channel now i'm only going to do the sides as well and just do the dry brush up this way oops that was too much over here the nice thing about this you can see I can clean them up right away as soon as they come out of the as soon as they're wet you don't you don't have to worry if if, if you make a mistake so that's the nice thing about them and I just want to blend with the blue just need to blend the last one because it's not blended enough I need to blend it with this cobalt blue a little bit but it's kind of mixing up this is it yes so I love this oh wow it's so nice okay so I finished the bottom part of it I might fix some areas where um, where I see is missing some paint so that I might do I'll go back to do those so for example in some areas here I'm looking as I as, as I lift the canvas you can see that some areas might be missing some paint at the bottom so I'll just take the different colors and just do that off screen you don't need to see that part it's just fixing the little places where I might have missed some color and I'm gonna heat set this really well okay what I wanted to do in the bottom part and I did turn the canvas around so I could work at the bottom is I wanted to add some splatters but I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to do that uh, the way I want to at least so I'm going what I'm going to do is I'm going to be covering certain areas and I'm going to try to splatter around so I'm going to start with the, this color and go backwards in the colors that I used before and I do need to spray some water so I make this a little bit more liquidy and then 
I'm going to splatter around and I think I took even I made too much of this I might be able to do less than that then by covering this paper so I'm able to create these splatters at the top which I really like so this is a really really simple canvas really simple okay next one so I'm going to add less of this because I just realized that I don't need so much of it just a little little bit now we'll see what happens because I can't cover both sides of the I can't cover this side that is dry I could go one by one but my patience does not really want to do that so let's see if I can manage to keep it inside here and even if they go a little bit to the side and it will just look like it's like blended oh I love this Hold on. this is looking really cool I want to get some of these at the edges and you can always mark them as well I guess I could have had the splatters coming up I wouldn't mind that that would look cool okay so let me see if I can do that with the other one as well I still have some of it so I'm just going to use some of this one and kind of splatter this area as well so it's kind of like gradually coming up okay good next color would be the dark purple I'm gonna clean this up and let's do the next one very little bit don't put too much it seriously does not need a lot because I'm only doing a few splatters at the top just needs to clean my paintbrush so I might fast forward this part or just show you towards the end because I don't really think you need to see everything but in the meantime I'm just going to continue doing the splatters and you can also it works if you bang something just make sure you wear an apron when you do this it tends to kind of go everywhere makes a huge mess on your clothes okay that's good because this one is kind of the next color already so let's put some of this lighter color here okay see sorry and you can put a very little bit of water and you don't need to put a lot I love when the splatters are big but it doesn't have to be I think it depends on the paintbrush you use here I'm doing the last color which is the green I already splattered everywhere and I just wanted to sh just basically fast forward the process and here I'm going to splatter them and basically finish this canvas the yellow and the green looks very similar so they're okay to be interacting with each other and that's it and then that's basically done for the paint the last thing I wanted to do is just add a little title to my to my canvas and I took these letters these are alphabet letters from Prima marketing they are wood and I'm taking my white impasto paint and I'm just going to paint them I mean they're pretty light but I really wanted to have it in white so I'm going to add the white impasto paint onto all these letters that way I can easily put it on I'm adding a little bit of water just to make the impasto paint a little bit easier to manage the white one seems to be very thick in compared to the others so I want to make sure that it covers everything
the last step is basically add my letters and then glue them with the same glue I used the brushes. So I'm going to arrange these. And since these are all different sizes, I'm trying to kind of arrange it in a way that it will not interfere with the height. So let's see how I do with that. Now I could easily add more things. I thought to add like butterflies or basically some other elements, but I really wanted to keep this really simple and easy to create, recreate or create for that matter. I didn't want to go into intricate designs. I just really think that sometimes simple is also really nice. So although this doesn't technically look too simple, it's really easy to create. And anybody can do it. Truthfully, anybody can do it. So that's the beauty of it. And you can put any word onto this. You could put the word creativity, imagination, inspiration, basically anything you want. All I'm doing now is just cleaning up the glue. I did use the 3D matte gel instead of the heavy gel just because I wanted it to be matte. I didn't want it to be glossy anywhere. And the heavy gel tends to be glossy. So I'm just cleaning up the leftover glue in between the letters and if I make any mistake I can always go ahead and go ahead and add some more paint. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you like this easy to make canvas using old paint brushes and it encourages you to save your paint brushes and recreate something just as fun as I did today. For more inspiration subscribe to my channel and visit me on my website. Thank you so much and have an amazing day. Bye!